Last week I took this basic gaming setup and gave it an insane upgrade. But now it's time to make some changes over here. And to do that means that we have to tear down this setup today. Creative setup back into the studio. Let's get into this one. First and foremost, we have to safely transfer the Lego Thanos glove. This is top priority. All right, now that the setup is tore down, we have to tear this down so that way we could utilize the drawers, a couple legs, and obviously have the monitor and speakers move into the studio room. Then we actually might run into a problem, but let's get this done before I explain that. I was cleaning out my G Fuel fridge and found this original can of black on Blackberry when Dr. Disrespect was with G Fuel. Let me know in the comments down below if any of you guys ever got this can when it came out. And also I think I'll enjoy myself a nice batch of sour shrug rug. If you ever had this flavor, you know exactly why I picked this one. Okay, so now everything is officially tore down in the previous studio room. We gotta start swapping some things back and forth. But the next big thing I have to do is bring up the new desktop. What do you guys think Megan's reaction was to this? She wasn't that happy. What did you get? We got a little minor addition to the setup. That thing barely fits in the Jeep. I got it on a deal. It was actually dead ass uh, serious. It was a really, really good deal. Yeah! Now we gotta get this thing out and upstairs. Yeah, it weighs 100 pounds. So there's that. Pretty heavy. I could do it myself. It's a little wet. Yeah, so I wanted a more deeper desk for my setup. Actually, surprisingly, Home Depot was more expensive than Ikea this time. And it's completely done. But you do have to help me get this out like right now. So now that we got the desktop here in the house, we got to bring it upstairs and put it in this room. The only downside to that is it is a hundred and two pounds. And as you can see, it's a lot wider than the last one. By the way, I will have a full video on where I got this and how you guys can get something like this too. <laughs> not attempt that at home. Shit. So I will say not everything for this desk is in yet. I'm getting a riser for it. So there's gonna be some organization that will change. But good God, how does that look? Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. So I'm still bringing stuff into the room and I have to figure out where to hang everything over there and what to put on those shelves. But dude, just look how epic this looks together. So if you're not following along, the plan is to remove the couch out of here, bring in another table to make that the YouTube shooting table, which will make this whole entire section where I edit and work on all my videos. This will be my new MacBook M1 Max Pro setup. And then obviously, as you guys seen last week, the gaming area over there. For the longest time, I've wanted a little bit more real estate when it comes to the depth of the desk. So that way I had more room to be able to do stuff up front, whether it's sketching or just organizing things or tinkering, building stuff. I just wanted to have more room at my desk to do that. With the previous desk, it was pretty much mouse pad. And then to the end of the mouse pad, it was like, boom, there's the monitor. Then I didn't have room for the speakers and then other stuff that I obviously put on the desk. But obviously, as you can see with a thick ass desk like this, it gives me a lot more room. Also, once again, cable management is going to be shit in this video. So don't be a Debbie Downer. 16. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. The next step is to bring in my sit down table for when I do all my like talking headshot stuff for YouTube. Before I actually do that, I like to set up where I want the camera to be in coordinates to how I want the background to look. The reason for this is when I set up the camera, then I can set up everything around where I want the shot to be. Basically, instead of bringing in the table and the lights and everything and adjusting it right here and then the background not be centered, I center the shot first with the camera and then bring the table and everything in. Cause I'm smart.
wasn't able to park in the garage. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the bench. The bench is in the way. No. <laughs> I'm so pooped. Because you moved it all the way upstairs by yourself. <laughs> I do not recommend anybody ever doing that. No, I'm surprised you actually did it and not just wait until I got home. <laughs> I'm 99% sure I have a hernia. Things are a little messy, but we'll, we'll see. Oh my God, did you just hear that? Was that your stomach? Bro? Yeah, I just said I was hungry. Oh my God, you might be dying. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what to do with this table here. And I was thinking of giving it to Megan. We'll see. It's all work in progress. We got everything. Looks what? as it did. <laughs> yes. So everything's back out here. I think I'm gonna leave most of that stuff up on the wall. Oh wow. Doesn't it look sick? It does, but it also looks- A little cluttered in here? Yeah, it needs to be feng shui -ed. Yes, right now I'm trying to like, I've been just going back and forth and like, okay, move it this way a little bit, move something that way, move that that way. The only thing I could think of is if you shove that into the corner. Then I gotta remount those oh, yeah, sound pads so and everything. I gotta just put it together to where it works. dude come on how can you not just love every inch of this space <sighs> oh what's that what do i have here i have only water in a can but it is flavored water it is severed line from liquid death no this is not an ad It'd be really cool if it was though because these guys kick ass and i i literally love everything about their brand even though i'm not getting paid to say like, hey, check this out. Like in all seriousness, you should check out Liquid Death. Anyways, if you can't tell, I'm ecstatic to be back in this room. Definitely have some things that we need to work on. I need to fill some stuff up over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do completely yet. I need to do some cable management. I have some stuff coming in from the desk that's just gonna make it look. By the way, I think I'm gonna come back out with these shirts. It says light them up on the back. I do wanna get into apparel here soon on biggie.co, so keep an eye out over there. On top of that too, if you guys didn't know, if you ever wanna get colors like this or buy other graphic design or video assets from me, make sure you're going to biggie.co as well, snagging those things up. Anyways, we have made some serious progress in the setup this week. And we honestly have so much more to come. So make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with all that stuff. But no offense to y'all, I'm calling it for the day. We got a new season of Apex Legends coming tomorrow. We'll be streaming that over on my gaming channel. Link is in the description. So make sure you come check us out live over there in this room, right over there on that setup. But you guys let me know down below how everything's coming. Are you guys a fan of this? Did you like the other setup a little bit more? Likes, dislikes, I wanna hear it from y'all. Probably not gonna do a damn thing about it if you don't like it, but hey, at least I'm giving you the option to voice your opinion in my comments so I can overlook it.